Angie is your home for everything home, and they've made it easier than ever to connect with skilled professionals to get all your home projects done well. If you own a home, you know how much work it can take, whether it's everyday maintenance and repairs or making dream projects a reality. It can be hard just to know where to start. But now, all you need to do is Angie that and find a skilled local pro who will deliver the quality and expertise that you need. Angie has over 20 years of home service experience and they've combined it with new tools to simplify the whole process. Bring them your project online or with the Angie app. Answer a few questions and Angie can handle the rest from start to finish or help you compare quotes from multiple pros and connect instantly. Which means you can take care of just about any home project in just a few steps. Because when it comes to getting the most out of your own home, you can do this when you Angie that. Download the free Angie mobile app today or visit Angie.com. That's A-N-G-I dot com. Taste the Mediterranean through March 19th at Whole Foods Market. Save on animal welfare certified bone and beef short ribs, sustainable wild-caught sockeye salmon, and more. Find sales on Parmigiano-Reggiano, charcuterie and ground lamb. Grab an olive boule bread from the bakery. Plus, wines from the Mediterranean start at just $8.99. Taste the Mediterranean now at Whole Foods Market. Must be 21 plus. Please drink responsibly. Live forever. I'm Jason Horton. I'm Rebecca Lieb. And this is Ghost Town. Biohacking, or using science to kind of make our bodies into a better version of itself, is a buzzy new term evoking Silicon Valley CEOs or mountain scaling life coaches. But in reality, the idea of biohacking has been around for hundreds of years, still as contentious and suspect a concept as it ever was. But yet, are there kernels of truth to the idea? Sure, yes, but also maybe not. We'll explore that a bit today talking about one of the first people to seriously use science, or believe to use science, to create a better, fitter, long-term living version of themselves. Let me introduce you to Luigi Cornaro, Renaissance dietitian and perhaps one of the first practitioners of the quote, biohack. Born to an innkeeper in Padua, Italy, Luigi Cornaro was a typical young, entitled nobleman in the 1400s, eating, drinking, and having sex whenever, however he pleased, with whomever he wanted. He inherited some fortune, did some wetlands farming, and genuinely just lived like he was going to die, which at that point, if you were an Italian in the 1400s, would have been around the age of 50. In any case, at 35, Cornero found himself in such bad health, he probably had what we would call type 2 diabetes, among other things, that this doctor told him that he probably would not live longer than 30 if he continued with his Italian party boy ways. So, on the advice of his doctors, he started a diet. Cornero rooted around in classical medical literature and came to believe that if he ate less as he aged, and if he engaged in most things moderately, including work, he would live longer. It makes sense, right? It's something that we practice perhaps to this day. Cornero's diet centered on the quantifying principle of 350 grams of bread, egg yolk, meat, and soup, and 414 milliliters of wine, which is approximately three full glasses of wine a day. Only three. Can you imagine? <laughs> no vegetables, no supplements, just carbs, fats, proteins, and soup, plus alcohol. However Cornero quantified it, his diet was working, especially given the context of the Renaissance, whose whole philosophy of the era was possibility, art, ingenuity, and using technology to help better shape one's world. Now I know what you're thinking, this doesn't really sound like much of a diet, more like the Renaissance version of intuitive eating, but to a rich 15th century playboy, it was. Italians of Cornero's class would go hard when it came to food and booze, eating rich sweetened soups and huge roasts of beef, stag, or pork with tons of gravy. Heart attack city, right? Sounds good. Now, just add a couple of bottles of wine and you have a daily Renaissance rich kid diet. To add some context, a very popular cookbook published around this time in 1475, and it was called De Honesta Voluptate by Bartolomeo Platina, translated to 
on right pleasure. On right pleasure, it was. So Carnero cut his shit down big time, and he leaned in to this diet culture, this persona. At 70, Cornero suffered a serious coach and buggy accident, where he had multiple injuries and dislocated his arm and leg. Though doctors thought he would die, they prescribed a common remedy for the time, purging and bleeding. But when Cornero regained consciousness, he refused the treatment, feeling that his lifestyle ensured his blood was, quote, pure. I recovered, he wrote, as I thought I should, without feeling the least alteration in myself or any bad effects from the accident. And he did, essentially making Cornero his own physician, dietitian, and, of course, life coach. Fast forward to another 10 years later, Cornero is 83 and still kicking. He still thinks he knows the secret to life, to his own mortality. So he writes a bunch of books about it and makes a lot of money. More after the break. So, Angie is your home for everything home. And they've made it easier than ever to connect with skilled professionals to get all your home projects done well. If you own a home, you know how much work it can take. Whether it's everyday maintenance and repairs or making dream projects a reality. It can be hard just to know where to start. But now, all you need to do is Angie that and find a skilled local pro who will deliver the quality and expertise that you need. Angie has over 20 years of home service experience and they've combined it with new tools to simplify the whole process. Bring them your project online or with the Angie app. Answer a few questions and Angie can handle the rest from start to finish or help you compare quotes from multiple pros and connect instantly which means you can take care of just about any home project in just a few steps. Because when it comes to getting the most out of your own home, you can do this when you Angie that. Download the free Angie mobile app today or visit Angie.com. That's A-N-G-I dot com. It's the 1540s and Luigi Cornero is an old man in his 80s, like older than literally everyone in Italy. And he is, he's fit, he's mobile, he's outspoken, his brain is sharp. Everyone wants to know his secrets. So he writes books, kind of the secret to why I've lived so damn long. Part one, part two, part three, in many editions, called things like, quote, the sure and certain method of attaining a long and healthful life, and quote, how to live a hundred years or discourses on the sober life. In these books, he describes his regimen and philosophy, which at this point goes far and beyond just cutting things down to, you know, three glasses of wine a day. Cornero maintained that longevity comes from many things, including a specific feeding schedule and by this point, a debilitatingly restrictive diet. So what and how much did Cornero eat? Estimates vary, but most put his caloric intake at somewhere around 1,500 calories, with milk and bread for breakfast, clear broth with egg for lunch, and a small piece of goat or veal meat for dinner. And he also cut down on the wine. Now no three glasses, but two glasses of wine, which he lovingly termed, quote, my milk, to finish out his low caloric intake for the day. And don't worry, though there was no exercise involved in the diet, Cornero also believed vehemently that people should sleep strictly four hours a night. Just four hours. That's it. Hungry and awake, you'll live to 100. And Cornero's books were hits. They are written, says journalist Joseph Addison, quote, with such a spirit of cheerfulness, religion, and good sense, as are the natural concomitants of temperance and sobriety. But not everyone liked them, including a little philosopher named Friedrich Nietzsche. Nietzsche criticized the work for mistaking the consequence with the cause, insisting that Cornero's diet is not the cause of his long life, but rather that the cause of his long life, which Nietzsche gives as his slow metabolism, is the reason his diet even worked for him in the first place. Kind of a universal criticism of diets, I'd say, where someone's predisposed genetics are the secret sauce to what makes their lifestyle successful or not. Not some viable diet regiment or fad or directive. Cornero, ever the businessman, would lie about being older than he was. So when he eventually died in 1556, his estimated age was 98, 102, or more. Even still, Luigi Cornero's life was impressively long for his time and honestly for ours. And given that his books are still being sold on Amazon and talked about in the LA Times, I'd say his diet really did make him immortal. (laughs) 
Angie is your home for everything home, and they've made it easier than ever to connect with skilled professionals to get all your home projects done well. If you own a home, you know how much work it can take, whether it's everyday maintenance and repairs or making dream projects a reality. It can be hard just to know where to start. But now, all you need to do is Angie that and find a skilled local pro who will deliver the quality and expertise that you need. Angie has over 20 years of home service experience and they've combined it with new tools to simplify the whole process. Bring them your project online or with the Angie app. Answer a few questions and Angie can handle the rest from start to finish or help you compare quotes from multiple pros and connect instantly which means you can take care of just about any home project in just a few steps. Because when it comes to getting the most out of your own home, you can do this when you Angie that. Download the free Angie mobile app today or visit Angie.com. That's A-N-G-I dot com.